Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be memory planning for the last week of May from the 25th through the 31st. So I will be filling in everything that happened this week. This is the last spread from my four week plan with me using a kawaii kit from Sweet Kawaii Design called Reading Daydream. Most of the stickers that I will be using are from Sweet Kawaii Design, but I will try my best to point out the ones that aren't. I am starting by filling in the first half of the sidebar since I did film this on two separate days. In the blank weekly schedule, I keep track of how much sleep I get and I add the sleep score from my Fitbit app. I also add a little star if I ever get more than eight hours a day, including naps. And Wednesday was only one of two days in May that I was actually able to add a star. Monday was Memorial Day and my husband had the day off, so I added a day off script above the date cover. I had just received these military munchkins in a Once More With Love grab bag that included a lot of older designs, so I was excited to have these for whenever there is a military related holiday. Next on my checklist is a breakfast script from Planning City. I always like to mark whenever we take time to make a nice breakfast. I also recorded a voiceover, the boys helped me bake brownies, and I wrote the meal plan for the week, although this week I didn't really stick to that plan. The first thing underneath our checklist is our therapy session, and this therapy sticker is from Pumpkin Paper Co. Then I wanted to mark Coffee Monday, and I was looking through some of my older spreads, and I think this is the first time I've ever written Coffee Monday. I noticed that Mondays are not days that I would normally drink coffee, but I love Coffee Monday scripts, so I think I'm going to try to change that. Next, I marked that I filmed my memory plan with me. Below that, I wrote that we had a pool day, the boys played with their water table, and they had popsicles. Our first pool day was just a couple days before, and on this day, we had a very different experience. This time, PJ did not want to get in the water. He stayed on the very top step. He was pretty upset that he had to wear pool floaties. Benny went in pretty quickly. He was still attached to me, but he let me swim around the shallow end with him, and we had a really good time. PJ mainly played with the water table, but this time we did it before nap time, so the sun was still out, and the water didn't feel as cold. Below that, I marked that my husband barbecued dinner for us, and at the very bottom, I used this sticker to mark that it was bath night. Moving on to Tuesday, I added a little sun above the date cover to mark that it was over 100 degrees. I decided that I wanted to mark all of the really hot days in this way. The first thing in my checklist was that I was exhausted, and I edited my memory plan with me. Then we had our weekly pool cleaning. I uploaded my memory plan with me. I mailed out a few payments. And then I received some happy mail from Sadie Stickers and my Mother's Day puzzle gift that my husband ordered for me. The puzzle is of one of my favorite pictures of PJ and Benny. Below the checklist, there is a full box from Sweet Bean Plans from the Playroom Kit. There was a little bit of open space, so I wanted to add this Take Care of Your Mental Health sticker. I had a pretty tough week, and I decided that I needed to be okay with not getting everything done. I had mentioned in my May budget results video that we ended up getting takeout more to relieve some stress, and like the sticker says, I was able to focus on my mental health. Along with that, I ended up having another therapy session on Tuesday. And after that session, I was able to relax in the pool. In the half box, I marked that we had a late family Zoom. We ended up getting dinner a bit later than normal, so we were late to this family Zoom call. But after bedtime, my husband and I watched the second Thor movie. It's not actually called Thor 2, but it is the second movie. And towards the end of the movie, we could hear some water running. And my husband thought maybe I was doing laundry or running the dishes. But when I walked out to the living room, I could hear it really loudly. My husband was already half asleep and I made him go outside to go figure out what was going on. 
thankfully he did and he discovered that a pipe was burst right next to our water softener so he had to turn off the water to the entire house which i kept forgetting about the next day again on wednesday it was another hot day over a hundred I had to take out the trash, clean the counters, and as soon as my husband came home from work, he focused on fixing the pipe. So by the afternoon, our water was back on. I went on a little walk with the boys, and I got some Happy Mail from Le Truce Papery and Once More With Love. The little Happy Mail icon is from Once More With Love, and the Happy Mail script is from Station Stickers. In the half box, I have a phone emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. And I pretty much spent the entire morning on the phone. I talked to my brother, my mom, and then FaceTime with my sister. All of our family Zoom calls are primarily for the boys to spend time with them. So on this day, we were actually able to catch up with each other and see how we were all doing. Then I added a little strip of Simply Gilded Washi and marked that I took a much needed nap. We spent the evening relaxing on the couch, so in the full box, I added a lazy day script and a couch potato sticker. Then at the very bottom, I marked that it was bath night. Flipping over to Thursday, it was another day over a hundred. It was also a trash day because of the holiday on Monday. I painted my nails. We had Chipotle for lunch. I recorded a voiceover. Then I tidied up and swiffered the house. The burrito bowl sticker is from Fox and Cactus. Below the checklist, I have another full box from Sweeping Plans. And then I moved up this quarter box and marked that my husband and I went swimming. Then I filmed the first half of this memory plan with me, as well as my June monthly overview. In the half box, I wrote that I edited the June monthly overview. And then we had a family Zoom call. On Friday, I went on a morning bike ride. I uploaded my June monthly overview video. I recorded another voiceover. It was laundry day as well as payday. And then I placed an order for a care package for my father-in-law. Below the checklist, I have a Starbucks run script from Planning City next to this really cute mermaid coffee cup from Sweeping Plans. My sister had been wanting to get Starbucks ever since getting her wisdom teeth out, so I made sure to get her some Starbucks. As I was dropping it off to her, I found out that Benny had thrown up. PJ had a pretty bad illness when he was around the same age as Benny, so we were really worried that he had something similar. He threw up twice, but thankfully he had no symptoms after that. Below that, I marked that my husband worked from home. He actually had to drive into work on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, but instead of marking him driving into work on those three days, I decided to just mark him working from home. And I was also really excited to finally use the sticker from Fox and Cactus. Then I wrote that I filmed my May budget results video, and these clouds were originally on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday intended for our workouts, but we ended up not working out at all this week. We had just finished another round of the program, and with everything else going on, it was just the perfect time to take a week off. Then I wrote that I went on a walk with the boys, and they also played with chalk. The Eeyore onesie munchkin is from Once More With Love. Then I had to mark that I cooked dinner because this was the first day that I actually felt up to it. And at the very bottom, this sticker is for bath night. Moving on to the weekend. On Saturday, I used a doodle emoji from The Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I wrote a letter. I also put away laundry. Then I had to choose edit and print pictures for my main memory spread. I also cleaned both of the bathrooms. And I received some happy mail on this day from k and Co XOXO and the Crafty Banana. The clean bathroom sticker is from Paper Panda. And the happy mail sticker is from Fox and Cactus. 
Below the weekend banner, I used a house doodle scene from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that my mom and sister came over to drop off a couple of masks, and the boys were really excited to talk to them for a little bit. In the half box, I wanted to mark that I spent a lot of time editing this day. Then in the full box, I wanted to mark that I talked to my brother again. And I wanted to use this quarantine and chill sticker to mark that I spent the evening watching a bunch of YouTube videos. On Sunday, I uploaded my May budget results video. We made a nice breakfast. I finished my May memory spread. And we had a family Zoom call where we all pretty much watched our church service together. It was really nice to feel like we're going to church together and we're planning to continue that every Sunday. Below the weekend banner, I marked that I washed our bedding. The boys played with the water table. We were hoping to go swimming, but it started to get a little cold, so we decided to just stick with the water table. In the half box, I am using this filming sticker from Pumpkin Paper Co. I filmed the second half of this video. And below the full box, I just wrote that the boys took a bath before nap time. Now I'm going to finish filling in my sidebar. And in the full box at the top, I've really been enjoying using this free printable from the Coffee Monsters Co. and writing in which week of quarantine we're in. Now I'm going to fill in the last week of my May monthly overview. On the 25th was Memorial Day, it was also a day off, and I added little arrows from the 18th because we ended up having our Zoom therapy on the 25th instead. On the 26th, I had another Zoom therapy session, and I also had to highlight that the pipe bursts and our water had to be turned off. On the 27th, I had calls with my brother, my mom, and my sister. On the 28th, I swam with my husband. Flipping over to the 29th, it was payday, and I had one more car sticker, so I wanted to write that this was the only day that my husband did not drive into work. On the 30th, I wrote that we had a porch visit with my sister and mom, and I also wanted to highlight that I received lots of happy mail not only on this day, but throughout the entire week. Finally, on the 31st, I wrote that this week I had three uploads, and I also wanted to highlight that it was our first family church service over Zoom. But that is all for my memory plan with me this week. I'm really sad to be done with this kawaii kit, but my next four-week plan with me will be coming really soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.